Abydos, the holiest place in ancient Egypt. Many times I walked up the stairway to the temple, but this time I am in Abydos for another reason. strange but it was suddenly a kind of of strong message to uh, to organize a conference it worked through me conference I, I have to organize to bring people specialists together specialists from the archaeologic side from the e Egyptologic side and from the art and from the healing I had to bring them together from Abydos. Tanya and me, Yvonne Asset, we would like to welcome you on the first House of Life Healing Conference 2019 here in Abydos in Egypt. We feel very honored that you all travel from so far, from all kinds of different countries, eight, eight different countries, and the light we have put on this table we can say that this week we all together make a pilgrimage to Abydos. Why it is so important to come together and to listen to each other's knowledge, connect with ancient Egypt? We believe because of the so rich history and knowledge the ancient Egyptians had left for us, the humanity, that it is simply too much to study for one person in one life.
because this is the first uh, uh, healing conference happened not only in Egypt, in the Middle East. And this is the aim of the House of Life because we need to open the eyes of the European and people from the United States to see the beauty of Egypt through this conference and uh, why the temple in ancient Egypt built it built for something more great than the human thing. Uh, uh, and the aim of conference is this. The journey that we're going to make, not only today, but also tomorrow, when we're I'm talking about rebirth, it's never the story of go, going underneath this earth. What you see so, so often depicted in a little drawing or even a lot of guides I see them making that gesture of during the day the sun travels from the east to the west and then they continue making that circle as if it's going in the under the earth no no way no way it's a pendulous movement so during the night the sun is there he's there but above us, he's always there, 24 hours. And why is it in the temple here that it's... That it, that's the ritual. It could be something really early beginning of that, because the Egyptian Museum opened in 1902, and this gave us the followers of The ceiling that outside of the Oh, well. <laughs> oh, they're all holes of records. There are. If you just go in and feel the structure and the energy and the alignments and the war and every aspect of all of these structures, they are all halls of records. Waiting for us to go in and just, we just, you only have to feel them. You don't have to study them like I do to interact with them. And then uh, I thought it's maybe in the field when we active this kind of energy, it stay in the place. So when you go to the Seti temple, when you look at Seti and the moon, a moon's face is the same face as Seti. And the moon and Isis, if you look at Isis's face, it's the same face as Seti. She's wearing a dress and a different headdress but the face is the same. And you look at all the images of Hatshepsut and Amenhotep and Amenamad of Senusret, the face of the king and the face of the nether is almost always identical. But their hair changes. changes. What's being changed changes. Very, very different. But the face is the same. 
So we have this idea of the mirror, which is something very big and simple. talking about the Egypt civilization, you are talking about a civilization who expressed themselves through art. Art, art, art in all different fields and all different levels. excited about this conference. We are looking forward to uh, uh, seeing uh, how it will turn out. Uh, what are your, your hopes with this conference? Uh, I hope we can be with a lot of people um, with an open mind, an open heart and um, exchanging views, learning a lot from what we see, what we hear and uh, from each other and that everybody can leave here after the conference feeling healed and feeling um, inspired. Yeah. الزار يمكن تكون غريبة عليهم شوية. الزار دي كلمة فرعونية قديمة كانت تسمى زر وهذا الزار 
كان يجب به الطاقة الإيجابية ويطرد الطاقة السلبية في ذاك الأول وهي عبارة عن طقوس تؤدى في الهياكل ومع بعض الموسيقى والبخور الخاص بهذه الطقوس وهناك كانت تقدم بعض المشروبات الروحانية قد تكون غريبة لبعض الناس في هذا الزمان ولكن هي فعالة جدا Peter Jane. Uh, most people call me PJ. I'm from Australia and I've had a connection with Egypt all my life. In 2007 I had a dream uh, about a building um, which five years later I discovered was a building called Abydos in the village of Abydos and ever since the energy of Abydos has stayed in my heart. So I've known Yvonne for many years now uh, through Facebook and I saw her put together this incredible program and I knew straight away I needed to be there. We are light. We are light. And our light, we call it the Ba. And the light we are is coming from the stars and it will go back to the stars. Yesterday I said, we are ah, stars. stars. Yes, yes, yes. 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 stars. stars. Yes. Yes. Coming, coming from, from the universe. universe. And then we go back. 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 What's your name? My name is Anne. And you are from? I'm from Belgium. Tell me how your experience and, and how you feel about this place. I really love, uh, most my favorites are the two chapels here behind me um, because they are built in a similar way of the temple. 
and I have a very strong feeling about the temple. And um, I think the first time I arrived in Abydos, I had a sense of, of coming home. So this hotel is uh, kind of my second home also. It's um, really a beautiful energy um, here in the hotel and also in, in whole Abydos and in particularly the desert, which I am in love with. Since 2007, I'm connected with Abydos and, and had the, the, we built the house of life. And um, I said to myself, I promised myself, until I die, I will study the ancient Egyptian way of healings in order to understand it. It has been an amazing seven-day experience, healing and transforming in so many ways. I am sure this conference will be held again, for indeed it takes more than one's lifetime to fully grasp the mysticism of this holy place. Because I'm in you, I'm around you, 
I'm around to you. I'm around to you. I'm around to you. I'm inside to you. I'm inside to you. I call you by name because I'm in you. Open now your eyes to see. Open now your ear to hear. Open now your skin to feel. Don't have any doubt or fear. Open now your nose to smell. I do know you very well. I heal your body and your soul. You're my child, and we all know. Open now your eyes to see. Open now your ear to hear. Open now your skin to feel. Don't have any doubt or fear. Open now your nose to smell. I do know you very well. I heal your body and your soul. You're my child. And we all know My goddess Isis I found you My goddess Isis I understand you Goddess Isis I feel you 